Well, recently my boiler blew up and uh, the plumber guy come out, the emergency plumber guy come out, he couldn't fix it, they had to send somebody else out to fix it the next day and they've come and this and totally replaced parts and I got a nice little present left for me which I've wiped down with p 61 because we're in the middle of COVID-19 lockdown. Weird s situation. <laughs> People send you a text message saying they're waiting outside. You open your front door. You open your passageway up. You open your kitchen up. Then you go and hide in the front room so you don't have any contact with them. <laughs> uh, so. So. What I've got is a solution of Germ 361, which is a morbicide disinfectant, which kills all known germs dead, deader than dead. It's a morbicide after all. <laughs> and I'm just gonna do things a little spray and a wipe down. So I can touch it, burn that later. And basically, you wipe things down, you give it a second or two, do its business, spread it around, give it a wipe over. What you do, you spray it, you spread it all over to make sure everything's covered, damp cloth. And then you leave it for a second or two for it to dry out because it automatically dries itself off because it's got a solvent in it. And it's safe to handle them. Yes, very good stuff that. More stuff. <laughs> oh, I've got a nice little circus board now. And bits and bobs on it. Which I'm going to douse, of course. Can't be too safe. <laughs> this is blown apparently, so we kind of faulty. I'm not bothered about that because basically I'm going to take. <laughs> I'm going to see if there's anything worth saving on it. Just giving it a douse of uh, disinfectant. Basically, this is going to end up being a practice board for me, for these surface mount devices when I get a, the, the the equipment I need. And so this, uh, and so on. this will end up being in a box, and I'm going to use it for desoldering practice. Basically, it's going to be marked as bad. It's going to, oh, it's single-sided board, so that's okay. I'm just going to flush that side. There we go. <coughs> Disinfected. The other thing there's a carbon filter or something that's going straight in the bin. But this. This, I'm going to save this. I don't have to, I can find plenty of others. It's just for a bit of desoldering practice later. Get all these little components off and chips and stuff off. It's ideal for practice when I get my desoldering station sorted. Yes, that's all fun with this. Burning off. <laughs> Yeah, that's a control board for my boiler. Just a little side thing for me to show you all. Got a nice box. Oh, got some nuts. I well, they did the outside of the box, so. Move them over to there. They might be reused. Give them a dousing. Everything's disinfected. <laughs> no, I can leave that. Right, just a little something I thought to show you, a little bit of bob. Yeah, waste not, want not. This is no good for what its purpose. It's obviously faulty, but it's going to be useful for me for desoldering practice when I get to desoldering station. And that's it. Thank you very much. Right, I thought to take a look at this. It's 
been a couple of days since I locked it in the kitchen after my boiler was repaired. Basically, it's a, it's a nice square box that the uh, replacement circuit board came in and they left me when they left when the boiler repairman left they left me this as a present it's a gift inside is some bubble wrap which will come in handy for wrapping things up and the circuit board nice box that will come in handy I can use that for pasting things off like a fishing wheel or something I often need boxes because half mine don't have them. Let's see what we've got in the bag. We've got the circus board and some nuts, some loose nuts. <laughs> Alright, and a bunch of these uh, nylock nuts that are coming handy. I can reuse them on something, some project or another. They've all been disinfected, they've all been cleaned off with some disinfectant. So, they are going to my patented nut holder, screw holder, parts holder. There's a little over in there and all, that will go in there. <laughs> the other half of the patented holder is here, and I'll be using that in a bit. Just put some little bits in. Now, this is the circus board. Now, there's nothing inherently wrong with it. It just wasn't controlling the boiler properly. Um, which I believe to be these are the control chips. So one one order with them is faulty, or this bit of circuitry around here is, is faulty. So they replace the whole board because they don't repair them; they just replace them. But it's not without its merits. The board has some nice parts, which I might be able to reuse in other things and for other uses. All right, these. Transformers and chokes. These have a another use to do with my fishing rods. When I make a old style fishing rod or a refurbished fishing rod, an old one, sometimes in the past, in the days of old, when they built them, they wanted to reinforce them. So when they tied on the eyes with a thread and they whipped it on. They put another layer on top of copper wire, which this will come in useful for. I've well, no idea, but have any other use for them off me, off me, But I tend to save these because I've got some fine copper wire windings on them, and that's just the right size to use on the fishing rods. So they will get reused. They'll be taken off here. The the oaks will be taken off, and they'll be kept on these on these formers till I need them. Um, what else is there of use? These capacitors look okay. I'll save them. They under the five degree capacitors, 35 volts and 470 microfarads. So you know they'll do. If I'm if I'm testing something and I need that's particular size I can put it in as a test to just to make sure something's working then I'll replace them later with new ones when I recap the whole things. Smoothing cap. This is 100 microfarads at 400 volts. I'll be keeping that. It looks in fairly good condition but I will test them on my tester just to make sure they are okay and worth saving. Like I said sometimes you can't always have them in stock, so you might have to use something like this as a temporary measure until you get a new one arriving the post. And these are X capacitors, mains filter capacitors, and these are Y capacitors. So they're both filter capacitors as well as these are, so they'll come in handy. This isn't a switch, it's actually a fuse holder, a rather nice one, so I might save that for a future project. Uh, there's not a lot to save. Once I've got these bigger items off, that's a 7805, but I'll be leaving it on there. 
because this board because it's got a lot of surface mounted components and chips at some point i will have to invest and get a hot air desoldering station and i will need to practice because i've never used one so i will keep this board i'll come in and there's a practice board once i've got these big items off i'll leave these on leave everything else on and then i could just practice desoldering them and taking them off so it's gonna have some further uses yet this will not this is not going to go directly to the landfill this has been saved it's going to be some parts are going to be reused and it will be, be a, a nice practice board to practice taking some of these chips and things off just to get you know to get the angle things so what i thought i'd do is i'll just have a go at taking some of these off now I do have a desolder pump. I just, I just like to do the old wiggle wiggle. Do the old wiggle wiggle. There we go. Now it looks a bit wet. It's not leaking. It's from when I washed the board down and disinfectant about an hour ago, just to make sure, just to make double sure I get another quick blast. But I will test them. They go in here, and they will get tested. If they're no good, they're going to bin. If they're okay, they're fairly okay, they'll get used as temporary measures and for testing. Wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> Basically, yeah, you wiggle it side to side or you have a bit of wiggle and it'll work. Normally, they work loose. There's no, I'm not worried about damaging the board, the board's useless. Like I said, these things will get uh, tested. I just need my disorder pump after all. <laughs> there we go, it's up there on the shelf. Oh, gathering dust. There we go. One solder up, get out to flow. Oh, no, no, I can't get it all on that one, so. There we go. Take off as much as I can. You can re-solder these, reflow them to put some fresh solder on, but I just thought I'd, uh, Alright, now for the wiggle wiggle bit. Oh. Make an AC noise. Still a bit of moisture under there. Don't need a bit more persuasion that is. Okay, not coming off as easy as it looks, does it? So, next line of defence. I'll tell you what, I'm going to add some plugs to that. These legs are actually bent because they're sure grips. So when you when you push these capacitors in, they automatically lock into place. Oh, it's getting a bit smoky. Mm -hmm. 
I'm afraid my uh, fan's a bit noisy. A quick blast. It does the job, it does it well. There we go. It's coming now. Just needed a bit of wiggle wiggle. Okay, so I've finished taking off all the parts that I'm going to take off. Um, I hope you enjoyed the little montage. There are some bits left on here which I'm going to leave on because I'm going to use this for practice when I get a desoldering station for these surface mounted parts. But let's take a look at what we got. Alright, I have a choke or transformer. Some smaller chokes which are not don't normally go faulty on electronics as a rule. They tend to be okay. But I didn't get these for spares. I got these to use in my other hobby of making fishing rods, making my own fishing rods from bits of cane and split cane. Because the copper wire is very fine, it is ideal we're using on fishing rods back in the day when they used to build the fishing rods they used to use copper wire as reinforcement they put the silk thread on first to hold down they say an eye an eyelet or something and then they'll go over that over the silk thread with a copper wire to reinforce it and i have one here which i'm just going to maneuver into position for you because it's a bit awkward in a long thin fishing rod but this is the sort of thing they used to do and i'll try and get it to focus in so you can see the, the actual copper weapons this is one i made myself and i've used this old shakes and stuff in the back it's hard to see because the, the the varnish is a bit uh, reflective but yes, and that's what I use it for, for reinforced whippings. On the main rod, part of the rods, and sometimes on the tip rings as well. It means I can uh, be a little bit artistic with it and why not focus. Yes, it's very nice. Makes a nice it makes it decorative as well, but also adds strength. 
Well, this silk thread is pretty strong in itself. The copper wire just adds a little bit extra strength and reinforcement. And that is why I always save things like this. And other things, anything with copper wire on really. I also saved smoothing cap. Now, I always save these because if you if you doing a, an old radio or something, these are the hardest caps to get. The main smoothing caps, and tend to be the most expensive. So if I can get something something fairly modern, I'll save it because it might only be used as a temporary solution until I can get a a more appropriate one but yes they are, I always save them some of these I save these to have a look at because I've got to check these out see if they failed or not fuse fuse holder always oh, coming handy fuse and fuse holder if not for repairs and, and refurbishments for projects might want to build something Similarly, then if I'll focus in, yes, this is an X capacitor, and I'm gonna have to use my uh, it's another piece of equipment type for my fishing rods, making my fishing rods a little loopy jeweler's loop, but it comes in only for electronics as well. Because my eyes are not as good as they used to be. This is a Y2, not an X, it's a Y. Now you have two types of safety capacitors. These are filters. Usually on mains, you have X, which goes across the neutral, the live, etc. And the Y, which comes down from the neutral, or the positive, down to earth. They filter at high frequencies and very high frequencies. And this one is another Y2. There's a couple of X's in there, I'm sure there is. These are very good because the... Uh, I'm trying to focus with two things here. There you go, X2. They come very handy because if you build a circuit and you want to filter out transients and stuff from the mains, high frequencies like hum and hiss, the sensitive equipment will pick up like radios will pick that up from the equipment that's in your room. So it's always good to have some X and Y capacitors because they're coming very handy for filtering out such stuff. Right. I think that's about a, a wrap as far as this board goes. Like I say, I'm not throwing it away. It's not not going in the bin or anything. It's going to be put in a bot in a tub. And all these little service mount components I'll practice on. Keep it as a practice board. Uh, yeah. So that one's going to go in the practice bin. I have other boards which I keep like the old PC boards and uh, you know when you're gonna want to part to see this this could be reused from a PC to a like um a Sega Mega Drive or something because sometimes you like to put heat sinks onto onto chips to help the corner well, these little graphics chip heat sinks are very low profile and you can, you can, if you want to, cut them in half and reuse them. Uh, you know, there's various things on these boards that you can keep. Like I say, for emergency temporary things, you can save these caps, test them, make sure they're okay. Use them as a temporary measure to get something to get a more appropriate one. Again. There's surface mount chips and stuff on here, so these these get saved and they'll end up being practiced on. So if I melt them, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> so yes, everything can be used, everything can be reused. To be saved, repurposed. 
And you know, it doesn't have to go to a landfill. It can have a bit of a life after the thing has demised. Well, I think that's all I can show you with this. So, I've got a few useful bits. Some emergency supply parts. Some little chokes and stuff I can reuse. Me purpose, use the copper wire from it. Got my trademark parts tray. <laughs> I I use the old egg boxes because they make nice little trays. You know, you can put different things in them, like different screws and parts in. Keep them tidy. You could use. Shelves. <laughs> keep keep the egg boxes and showcase things uh, storing things in. I use the plastic multi ones because I eat a lot of eggs. These are also good for putting screws and stuff. Alright. So it's goodbye from me. Stay safe.